Chris Gebner, Principal Technical Marketing Engineer for NetApp's Memory Accelerated Data Product, commonly known as MaxData. Today we're going to talk to you about what MaxData is. We're going to talk about how it works, as well as some of the use cases and benefits to using MaxData. So first, let's talk about what is MaxData. First and foremost, MaxData is software. It's software that gets installed on a common x86 server. It, we create a file system for MaxData called MaxFS. And MaxFS is a tiered file system. There's two components to Max file, MaxFS. First, a persistent memory tier. This is persistent memory, could be NVDMN, could be Intel Optane, when Optane comes out in the future. Also, MaxFS allows us to be able to use a capacity tier. We all know that persistent memory is fast. It's on the CPU bus, um, it's on the memory bus, it's, it's, it's very, very fast compared to any shared or attached storage, including fiber channel and, and NVMe over fiber channel. So this file system is comprised of these two components, a persistent memory tier for the performance and a storage tier for the capacity. And as data is written into the, the MaxFS file system, it is always written to the persistent memory tier. Should data fill up the persistent memory tier, we then move the data from the persistent memory tier to the storage tier. So it's a tiered file system. It's not a cache. It doesn't copy data. It moves data. And this is important when we look at uh, the working set size of different applications. Think about a database. Not every block is, is being used for every single, um, every single minute of the day. Some is cold data, some is hot data. So we size our applications in our, to, to fit the working set within the persistent memory layer. So we have a file system, we have our persistent memory and our storage tier. The performance that we can see from the Max file system, um, we've done some work around performance. We use SLOB, which is a silly little old uh, Oracle benchmark, SLOB2 specifically. And with Slab2, we did this Oracle workload, and on a single server, we're able to achieve about 500,000 IOPS at 40 to 50 microseconds of latency. That's four to five times faster than uh, NVMe-based uh, storage array or NVMe over fabrics, um, much, much faster uh, in response time. So for applications like Mongo or SQL, uh, my, you know, MySQL, um, Microsoft SQL for Linux, or Oracle, using this can help you s tremendously reduce the amount of latency for the uh, application. We've also created some products to help us protect persistent memory. And that's called Max Recovery. Max Recovery gets installed on a server and it allows us to be able to replicate persistent memory from one max recovery server to a max or to my max data server to a max recovery server over a 100 gig RDMA network right and this is all done in software software replication over a 100 gig network to be able to achieve a, a zero recovery point objective for the persistent memory layer we can also do things like take and consolidate the storage and persistent memory layer into a snapshot for point-in-time recovery. We can also then replicate via SVMDR from one site to another site to an ONTAP AFF system at that data uh, recovery site, disaster recovery site. So we got great performance. We have some enterprise data services that allow us to protect the persistent memory, take snapshots for recovery, uh, in-place recovery, and be able to replicate to a disaster recovery scenario, uh, uh, site for uh, DR events. And so when we talk about the efficiencies value, we look to utilization of the CPU, for example. Being able to better uh, keep the CPU busy by reducing the latency of the application and database involved allows us to be able to better utilize the resources we have within the environment, allowing us to be able to potentially reduce the number of servers and licenses within the environment because we're more efficient. So 
If you're looking to help reduce the, the latency within your application environments for SQL relational database, uh, you know, traditional uh, relational databases or, or NoSQL databases, uh, or even homegrown applications, Max Data is a great solution to be able to help do that while providing enterprise data services. So hopefully, you've learned a little bit about what Max Data is, how Max Data works, and how Max Data performs, can provide enterprise data services, as well as bring efficiency to your applications and database environments. We hope that you go to the NetApp support site and download an evaluation copy of Max Data. Try it in your labs and let us know what you think. We know that it's going to help reduce the latency within your application environments. Thank you for your time.